update now on the Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack that stifled. On the ransomware attack that shut down a vital fuel pipeline on the East Coast. Brazen cyber attack that has shut down the biggest pipeline. Biden administration said it is working with the Colonial Pipeline Company to deal with the cyber hack and its effects. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fortis SME Insight. I will be your host of this series, Daniel El Tahar. Fortis is a comprehensive portfolio of security services and solutions that have been proactively designed to protect your digital and physical environment. This all new web series, SME Insight, features Fortis's subject matter experts who will be breaking down everything in the world of cybersecurity. Our inaugural episode, episode one, will cover the Colonial Pipeline incident where well, I'll let the experts speak for themselves. May 6th, 2021, the Colonial Pipeline, which supplies the East Coast of the United States with four, roughly 45% of their fuel, was hit with uh, data exfiltration, and it lasted about 24 hours, in which they exfiltrated roughly 100 gigabytes of data, in which, at the end of that, on May 7th, uh, ransomware was actually deployed, crippling all of their critical infrastructure, their IT networks, and their OT networks. Here at Fortis, one of the best ways that we can help to mitigate a new attacks such as the one that happened on the pipeline is through the use of our isolation services. This isolation service can be highly customized to the customer, and it'll help us to prevent and isolate uh, further lateral movement throughout the network. And additionally, we also have our um, in-house IR team so that we're ready to engage when the time strikes. The pipeline incident uh, occurred where the attacker utilized ransomware uh, to take over the network of the facility uh, while using Fortis. This could have been prevented as we have multiple measures of security to prevent uh, different types of attacks such as web attacks, uh, email phishing attacks, and uh, um, you know endpoint protection in order to, to protect any type of malicious activity occurring on host before it becomes a ransomware attack. and propagates throughout the network. Uh, one huge aspect that Fortis provides that's huge value is not only the single pane of glass, um, we also have uh, proprietary rule sets that we uh, deploy as well as um, ad hoc rule sets depending on our client's topology and network needs. In Fortis, we utilize a SIM tool called Active Defense that's been developed by our team. This allows us to further investigate our clients' uh, log sources and also the different events we, that we receive from them. Fortis. Defense has a new name. Fortis. Defense has a new name.